Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a quick look at these new Racer Star uh, ESCs. They're the 22 amp versions. They burst up to 25 amps and uh, the 2 to 4S LiPo uh, does, uh, is able, able for, uh, to do D-Shot 1200. These are these new 32 bit ESCs that are coming out. They're ARM based um, processors. Um, very, di very different from the BL Heli uh, and BL Heli S ESCs that, been, that were out recently. Those were 8 8 bit ESCs that were made by uh, Atmel and SI Labs. And these new 32 bit ESCs are supposedly capable of running uh, the new BL Heli 32. However, the new BL Heli 32 is closed source, not open source, and requires a licensing. So I believe it's the same type of hardware that's on these new ESCs are coming out with the same CPU, but just not have the BL Heli 32 firmware. So we'll have to see how this performs. I don't have any BL Heli 32 ESCs to compare them against, so I can only compare them against some BL Heli um, S ESCs. So it's going to be kind of hard to see how well they perform. I can just only put them on a, on a quad and fly them and, and see how they feel um, because they are pretty new. And there's also the possibility that you might they might license the firmware to these ESCs in the future and um, be, able, be able to get the updates to BL Heli 32 on them. I don't know at this point. There's a, I guess the information is a little bit murky. The firmware that's definitely on here right now is a proprietary firmware. And I'll put a little screenshot here of um, what the app looks like. There's a on the product page, there's an app you can download that will do setting changes. And I'm not 100% sure if they do firmware updates or not, but uh, that is the app on there that can do some of the setting changes. What is kind of interesting about this ESC is that you can ch change the direction of the motor by uh, sp actually providing power to the motor and then I think within like three seconds if you spin the motor in, in a certain direction it'll beep and then you spin it again in that same direction and it'll beep again confirming the rotation change. So if you happen to find that uh, it's spinning the wrong way you can just uh, easily change the direction by just spinning the motor and, and the process that they explain in the manual and I'll try and demonstrate that in a little bit. Let's take a closer look at what this looks like. Just peel the sticker off here. And this is what the FETs look like on here. And this is the other side. And I'm not sure if this is a clone of anything out there. If you guys know what this, uh, if this is a clone or something, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, hook this up to a motor and we'll just uh, spin it up and see how smooth it runs. So I've got my ESCs installed here on the uh, real ACC X5R uh, frame. It's uh, pretty much all ready to go. I've got the flight controller, battery hooked up, motors, and I got hooked up to my computer. Um, as I mentioned before, these are some pretty interesting ESCs. Got the proprietary firmware on there. I have this hooked up to. Um, I've got the flight controller flashed to Betaflight 317, and Betaflight only supports up to DShot 600, even though these. ESC supposedly support up to D-Shot 1200. Uh, I don't have a KISS uh, flight controller, so I won't be able to test D-Shot 900 or 1200 with these ESCs, unfortunately. Um, but something unusual about the firmware that's on here is that I, when I try to spin up the motors, um, normally in D-Shot you don't have to do any, any kind of ESC calibration. However, the motors wouldn't spin up until I would hit a PWM value of like 1200, which is really, really high. So uh, I, on a whim, I thought, well, maybe I should do an ESC calibration. So if you know how to do that, you would, uh, with the power off, uh, you go into your um, uh, motors tab on Betaflight Configurator and, uh, and, and raise the uh, throttle to the max, and then plug in your battery. It'll, it'll beep three times, bring it down to the minimum, which is 1,000, and then it'll beep again. And then it, would, it basically do, it does a, a complete ESC calibration at that point. And at that point, then, uh, it would proceed to uh, spin the motors at the lower uh, PWM value, which is like around 10, 10, 10, 15, and it was pretty smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate you the sound of the, uh, the, all the motors spinning up from the lowest value. I'm just going to do that from my computer. So that's about 1100 right here. About 1250. I'm going to lower it. So 
that's uh, pretty typical for uh, D shy DSC. It's uh, pretty smooth at any, any type of BL Hall SESC. So I haven't noticed anything unusual about this. Now, the specs say that the throttle resolution is 1480. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's a lot or not, but that's what the specs say. Um, I'm gonna, at this point, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to switch the motor direction. Uh, the way I have this wired up, all of the motors are spinning um, counterclockwise. And so I need to reverse uh, motors 1 and 4. Uh, motors uh, 2 and 3 are correct. So let me just double check that right now. Spin this up again. So 2 and 3 are correct. And 1 and 4 are going the wrong way. So the way you're supposed to fix that is uh, you, you plug in the battery. So I'm going to plug this. And I'm going to disconnect from the Adaflight Configurator. Disconnect my USB cable. So I need to reverse the directions of these two motors here. So what happens is you plug in the battery and then you would spin the, uh, the motor in the direction that you want it to go. So in this case I want this to go clockwise. So I'll spin it and then it'll beep. And then within three seconds after the beep, you have to spin it again to confirm, and then that'll reverse the direction of the motors. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. And now, go ahead and I'll reverse the direction of the other one as well. These uh, tones are, are kind of unusual. They don't sound anything like a BL Heli. SEC at all because it's not proprietary firmware. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and disconnect it one more time. Plug in our USB. And plug in our power. Connect. Go ahead into the motors section on the configurator and let's go ahead and spin up the motors again. And this is going the correct direction. Correct. 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 So that's a very easy way to uh, reverse the direction of the motors without having to uh, decide or anything. And um, another thing that I should point out is I did try to uh, communicate with ESCs uh, through the little app that was provided uh, on uh, the product page. It's some sort of like configuration utility for this proprietary firmware. However, I was not successful in communicating with ESCs through the flight controller. Uh, there was an option for communicating either through a COM port, which is like maybe through an Arduino, or using uh, a flight controller like Betaflight or CleanFlight. However, uh, it wouldn't let me do that. It would just give me a communication failure. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, I wasn't planning on changing any of the settings uh, anyway. I was, these are just the default settings and they seem to be okay. And you can obviously reverse the direction of the motors in the method I just showed you. So uh, yeah, that's about it for these ESCs. I'm going to have a separate video on uh, the X5R frame. If you guys want to see flight footage of how these ESCs work, go to that video. Uh, I'll eventually put a card up in the upper right hand corner so you got to direct you to that video if you want to see how these ESCs perform, but I suspect they're going to perform pretty similarly to a BL Heli SESC. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review video on these Racer Star 22 amp ESCs. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.